so I was trying to film the ocean and the water and this happened this happened shoes soaked I don't know if you guys can tell but they're soaked my socks are all soaked and sandy it happened but hey I had a good run I had a good workout and it was great and besides getting my shoes get wet everything upside is shoes can dry off right so I'm good uh oh jam session upside shoes can dry off so I'm good complain it was a great morning yeah, yeah. hello everybody so today's a little different I don't want to call this a message I want to put this more in the area of I feel like in life we all have tools that we put in a toolbox and by tools are I mean like building blocks when you build the foundation for your house so when you get a job when you're going to school, when you help your parents with something, you pick up all these little traits and you keep adding to it. So you have this toolbox, you keep adding these little traits you pick up. And then one day you run into a problem and you're like, oh, I think I've done this before. Oh, I know where to start with this. You go to your toolbox, you take it out and you start. So one of the things that I feel like I, I forget as a human or I'm afraid of and sometimes I hesitate to do things because of this is rejection or hearing the word no which I think is, a, is the same exact thing just depending on how you look at it or, or what your thought behind it is and the reason I bring this up today is because I, I listen to a lot of podcasts, read a lot of books, and I, and I try to learn about different things that interest me. And there was one a while back, it's been a long time that I heard, and the saying is, go for no. That, that is all it is, go for no. So when you hear that, what do you think about? And I, and I sat there and I was stumped listening, like, go for no, what do you mean? Like, what does go for no mean? And I've told my friends and they laugh at me and they're like, well, yeah, that's logical. So I'll give you what my idea of go for no is. Go for no after listening to this and reading and getting more information is the idea of the more chances you take, the more rejections you take, the more times you hear no, the closer you get to hearing the word yes. And I got this. I, I'm not a genius. I didn't come up with this. I got this from a book with... The titled go for no yes is the destination no is how you get there written by Richard Fenton and Andrea Waltz and I'll link that below so you can get more details on it this book was written in a format to to motivate like sales people and you think well why would I want to read that I feel like in today's world you can read any kind of book that's towards leadership, salespeople, just novels. You learn something from every different kind of book and there's things that you can pick up that you can implement in your life and can add to your tool chest. So I feel like that doesn't matter. And the big thing that uh, uh, one of the, the sayings or something that they focus on is that failing and failure are two different things which I agree with 100% because you can fail at something and keep trying, 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 trying. And yes, you might fail over and over and over again. You fall, we are humans, we fall, you have to get back up. But failure is the moment of quitting, of giving up, like, no, I can't do this anymore. And you get into, I'm a failure, or you feel the rejection. And I know we, no one likes to hear the word no. No one likes the feeling of rejection. But how do you improve your chances by not even taking the opportunity or not even putting yourself out there? Because you don't. You don't want to be a person that's in the what ifs or what if I would have done this or what if I would have talked to somebody or what if I would have asked for this promotion or what if I would have applied for this job. And that's kind of where it, where it ties into me. You have to go for the word no. Like it's okay to go. And hear no or be rejected or turned down for something that you really wanted because it means that you're that much closer 
that experience, whatever process you had to go through to hear that, takes you that much closer to getting to the yes, to hearing what you want to hear. And I feel like sometimes, even though we know things, we need to be reminded of things because we go through life doing these repetitive things and staying in our comfort zone that we forget to get out of our box. And anywhere you go, they tell you, think outside the box. And I know everyone thinks like, yeah, I think outside of the box, but we get comfortable. We're routine. We like routines. We don't like our schedules to get messed up. That's just who we are. And sometimes we just need someone to remind us like, hey, that makes complete sense. I need to implement that in my day-to-day -day life again and remind myself each and every day to do that. So what I'm telling you guys for your goal today or, or, or this week is go for no. Do something that you think you're going to get a no, but just take the opportunity to put your out, yourself out there and hear that word and accept it and not think about it as defeat or rejection or failure. You missed, you struck out this time, but you can try again and you're that much closer to what you want to achieve. That's all I have for today. I didn't give you a full review on the book or anything like that. I, it's a short read. I think anyone who sits down and starts reading it can get it done in a week easily. And you will pick up different aspects and more details on the emphasis behind going for no and how you can implement it, one, as a salesperson or in your day-to-day -day life to improve things or change habits that you have today. As always, be loving, caring, compassionate. You do not know what other people are experiencing in their own lives. Everyone has a difficult life in different ways, and we don't understand it because we haven't walked them out in their shoes. So try to be the change you wish to see in the world and make somebody smile, make somebody's day, allow someone to feel seen, alive, visible, like they exist. The more you do it, you know what I'm about to say, it becomes a habit. I'll see you guys tomorrow.